Right, so it's going to be stuff on radar during okay. both nights. Um, it's just a matter of where it's going to be. So All let's right. uh, let's show you what we had uh, earlier this evening. Jenny, at 6 o'clock we were talking about a band of rain that would come out of Chicago but would eventually fall apart. Now it was going into that process on a, during our camera here. Caught the uh, rain curtain moving in. The wall cut, and you'll see it right there, and a few little raindrops, but that was about it. It started to wind down even before it made it into Lafayette. And, uh, but this is just kind of a sign of, you know, the atmosphere is going to get a little more unstable here the next couple of days. We'll have a little more to work with, and so we are going to see a little bit more coverage eventually uh, with the showers, the thunderstorms. But all kinds of dry time the next couple of days, and a lot of spots that will you may not even see a drop of rain. 77 at this hour, dew point up to 61. Okay, so it's going to get a little more humid and a lot more humid eventually as we head toward the middle part of the week. As uh, you'll see those numbers getting into the mid and upper 70s, that's when it gets very tropical-like and you'll notice the humidity. Now here's the deal for Monday. A lot of dry time, as I mentioned, will call for isolated afternoon thunderstorms. You have about a 20 or 30 percent chance of seeing something pop up uh, during the afternoon. Temperatures ranging from 86 in Kokomo, 84 in Marion going to feel like the 90s, although we may not technically hit it in the metro area. A lot of spots will come closer because the air is more humid. We'll certainly feel more like the 90s. Now, fireworks forecast for after the game, Victory Field, there is that spotty storm chance. If you're heading down uh, to Victory Field, first pitch at uh, 715, uh, looking pretty good here. Upper 70s by 10 o'clock. Now, here's future track 13. So, again, you'll see a few things popping up on radar, but a lot of spots don't see anything. We jump to Tuesday, late day storm chances. Highs on the 4th of July pushing about 90 degrees once again. It's going to feel that warm because of the high humidity. And you'll see future track 13, isolated thunderstorms, which means a lot of spots will be in pretty good shape here. As the latest uh, Freedom Fest forecast, sunset time at 916 on Tuesday, muggy heat. So fingers crossed that the storms that do pop up will stay away from downtown. Scattered storm chances on Wednesday after a long day of, uh, day of dry weather. Thursday, we get uh, more storm chances around. And then we have a nice weekend shaping up Saturday and Sunday, cooler and lower humidity. Yeah, definitely.